Hello everyone. Welcome back to uh, Bootstrap Workbench. And uh, as you can see, I've received my uh, micro bid X from hf6.com. And since I have the board here on the bench, and uh, I have just uh, printed out a uh, camera adapter that will allow a uh, cell phone to uh, video through my inspection microscope, I thought we would uh, take a quick look at uh, the board here and uh, do a quick inspection to see if uh, we see any issues. Of course, I'll do a further inspection later on with a jeweler's loop so I can take a look at uh, the sides of some of these toroids. Things are looking pretty good so far. Just keep moving through there. Let's see. Looks like there's good flow out on the surface mount parts. I don't see anything so far that looks like it's tombstoned. I took a quick look across the board and uh, didn't see anything that looked like it had issues. Yeah, things are looking uh, looking pretty good so far. So I will provide a link to the uh, cell phone camera adapter for microscopes that I'm using. So that if anybody at home has uh, an inspection microscope, they can uh, set up something similar. This is very handy. Right now, instead of uh, sitting here hunched over the uh, eyepiece tubes, I'm... Uh, sitting just like normal in my office chair and uh, looking at the screen on the cell phone and uh, most people do have a spare cell phone or uh, something along those lines at home that uh, is just sitting around not being used so it is uh, something handy that you can make use of as uh, test equipment of sorts in your shack. And those toroids are uh, looking pretty good. I saw pictures of a few on the Facebook group where uh, the enameling had been torn off to the point where uh, they were going to short. I actually received this radio I'd say about a week and a half, two weeks ago. Uh, I did not have my uh, 3D printer dialed in, and I was not expecting the radio to show up when it did. I had uh, purchased it back in December, and uh, I had paid for standard shipping, and when it arrived, it had been shipped via DHL. A lot of the orders on these radios were very, very far behind. They were swamped with orders, and uh, it took them a while to catch up. They also uh, had to find supplies of uh, toroids. Oh. That, I believe, is going to need to be reflowed. Let me see if I can focus that in. Let's see here. I just don't like the way that that looks. So that is one that I will take a look at. Let's see here. That is uh, C-154. All right, that will go on to the list. I 
I trust that they go through and test all of these boards. By the way, this one is 72202, so I think this is the 722nd unit of the second batch. I know they're rushed right now because of the uh, amount of orders that they have and uh, nothing against the uh, people in the factory, but uh, I do want to uh, double check everything Whoops. just to make sure. Let's see here. Oh, that's a little sliver of solder. We don't want that on the board. I have yet to power this unit on. I wanted to do a microscopic check first. Hmm. No, I think that'll be fine. Just wanted to make sure that that wasn't shorted. Things are looking good so far. Looks like that transistor got a little squirrely. But the joints look good. So I don't think that's anything to worry about. TDA2822M. And yeah, most things are looking pretty good except for that one capacitor that I found. Oh, that looks like it might be a cold solder joint. Yeah, that's possible. In fact, several of these joints look like they didn't get good flow out. Now that's not a problem. That's something that I can correct fairly quickly. There's P2. We're getting close to the corner of the board. That's it. So I'm going to uh, get out the soldering iron and uh, correct a few small issues here. And then uh, I'm going to uh, put this board aside and when I'm off again in a few days I will uh, hook it up and test it out. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments put them down below and uh, have a great evening.